My name's Jay Barnson. Uh, in real life, I am a video game programmer. Um, and uh, today, I am a herald for the Battleguard uh, medievalist fantasy uh, improvisation group. I, I created it about uh, five years ago. Uh, started out with just a few friends, and uh, we, uh, we got together. We, we uh, made some weapons. I had belonged to some other groups before, and I was found that there wasn't any here in the valley and so we we uh, got together with made some weapons made some costumes got together and uh, next thing you know it started steamrolling from there I wanted to play more than anything else and uh, found a whole bunch of people who felt the same way and were really excited to have the chance to kind of live out a fantasy and and just have a have a really great time uh, and get some good exercise uh, for one thing they're a whole lot easier to simulate uh, you have the same problem with you know if you ever play cops and robbers as a kid uh, you know, I got you, no you didn't, you know, and, and these are nice and up close and personal. They're padded weapons, um, they're easy to create, uh, very inexpensive, and, uh, you know, it's a lot more of a physical, uh, physical contact, a lot more uh, adrenaline rush, I guess. I've always been interested in, in fantasy since, uh, gosh, I don't know, uh, a lot of years, uh, science fiction and fantasy. Um, and it was just a setting that uh, is always very romantic. I mean, the knight in shining armor, and the you know the Conan the Barbarian sort of guy, and the you know the, the princess needing to be saved, and all that. It's, it's very romantic, very fun, and a, a, a you know really a, a thing that a lot of people uh, feel the same way. Really want to want to play that and role play that out and have a good time with it. Uh, well, any contact sport is has some danger. I mean, you go uh, play football and you can, in fact, I had an injury very similar a few years ago where I uh, hurt my knee and couldn't walk for a couple of days. But generally speaking, uh, you know, there's, there's no broken bones or anything like that. The swords are padded. Uh, people, you know, we're all friends. We try and have a good time together and uh, try not to hurt each other. And very rarely are there any any sort of injuries whatsoever and usually when there are it's usually uh, a bruise or a twisted ankle or someone not looking where they're going and running into a tree uh, it is an extremely open organization uh, pretty much anyone can show up and participate uh, if we have any extra weapons lying around you know we give them a quick briefing on the rules and say here you go have fun and if they really like it, they stay. That's, that's how our organization grows. And it's been growing like crazy. We started five years ago with six people, and I don't even know how many names we have, but you know, today we're having a battle with uh, over 50 people uh, battling each other, and it is totally great. This thing is just growing uh, by an incredible margin. As far as what they expect from BattleGuard, uh, that really depends. A lot of people come in, and they're expecting it to be something that it's not. Um, and they go home disappointed. I mean, we've got some people that, that want it as an excuse to hurt other people, and, and we, don't, we don't want those kinds of people for obvious reasons. Um, and, you know, some others just don't understand what we are and, uh, and don't get all that excited about it. Uh, for, as far as what we expect and what those who stay and become a part of it uh, expect, it's a chance to, to kind of do a little role playing, to kind of play a fantasy for a day, um, a chance to get some really good exercise, uh, a chance for fair sportsmanship, and a chance to do something that you can't do in real life. Uh, you know, you can't just go out uh, on the street and fight 
other people with swords and everything, and if you did, you'd liable to get hurt really quick. So it's a, it's a really great chance to just live out of fantasy and have a great time, and we just expect everyone to, to follow the rules and to really become a part of the, the fantasy. We discourage uh, wearing uh, you know, mundane clothes or jeans and the, and the t-shirt when we're at a battle at an official event. Um, helps everyone you know, feel part of the fantasy and, and you know, get a little bit of an illusion for a day. Or we have battle practices where any clothing uh, is valid. I go there with jeans and t-shirt all the time just for, just for sword practice. Um, it's, as, it's really pretty, pretty open as far as expectations. We just, we just want to have a good time uh, you know, playing, our, playing our sport and, and, and having a little bit of escapism. Each Battle Guard member, we uh, encourage a unique character. We encourage to be well developed and, you know, with the history and everything. It's not necessary, but it's a little bit distracting. I and mean, we're trying, we're, we're, we're dressing up in these outrageous clothes, and it gets a little distracting when we say, hey, Bob, where's Joe and Marge? And instead, we come up with fantastic names, you know. Uh, I am, I'm the Vagabond Dark, you know, and you have some other people. They have different characters who fit in a fantasy environment. You've got knights, elves. Uh, warrior princesses, uh, barbarians, uh, Scotsmen, you know, the uh, sorcerers and the whole nine yards. Um, and we try and follow the illusion. I mean, we, we, we go through and, and uh, have the history and we, you know, treat each other that way. When I first started this five years ago, there was only a few groups. Uh, there were several out on the East Coast. I, I, I was affiliated with a couple of them. Uh, but now, over the last few years, partly due to our influence and partly due to some others, there are groups like this one starting up everywhere. Uh, it's really an amazing thing. It's becoming a, a, a popular sport, a popular pastime. Uh, I don't know what you'd really compare it with, uh, but it's growing. Uh, there's, uh, every state is starting to support uh, at least one and often several groups very similar and we're starting to communicate with each other and so you have a group out uh, you know from Idaho today we got a group out from Idaho that we didn't know about until a couple months ago and you know we're having this combined thing with them and there's there's groups out uh, all over and we just have these big meetings with hundreds of people fighting and, and laughing and talking and camping out and uh, just really having a great time usually I go with a sword and shield it's a good old standby and uh, it's uh, it's very effective recently though I've been trying to take on the the bow. We've yeah, got it, arrows it, it with uh, you know, big padded heads on them so they won't go into any eyes and they, they lose velocity very quick, have a pretty yeah, short range, but they're really, uh, they're really fearsome on the battlefield and uh, if I can you know, learn to hit the side of a barn with one, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's, it's uh, a very different fighting style. It's a lot of running around and hiding from people and then shooting them, uh, shooting them from the flank and, and trying to take out pinpoint targets instead of just wading in and, and uh, wailing on anything that gets in the way.